No good. This terminal doesn't access gen subroutines. All I can pull up is cryo indexes. Well, what about the operating record? Mm. Here we go. Current date, Earth term, September 21, 26, 95. That's today. Departure date, April 19, 21, 2167. We've been on board 500 years. Can't be right. The human organism starts to lose stability at 100 years in cryo. After 500 years, we'd be toast. Well, maybe we came aboard much later than 2167. But, all right, the calendar is not the issue right now. Zach, where can you get full access to Jen? A diagnostic terminal. But I have no clue where to find one. Well, what's it look like? A terminal? Uh, you know, like this, only bigger. Uh, probably marked with a computer symbol. Okay, let's all split up and look for one. We'll start with the lower levels. Yuna, you and Zach take deck two, Brent and Greg take deck three. Lise and I will take deck four, and everybody stay in contact. Cute. She locked the hatch. You can pop it with this. A laser scalpel. Or maybe the emergency hatch was devised for emergencies? Oh, I'm glad there's something on this boat the computer doesn't control. What? Armory. Weapons lockup. Access denied. Mmm, testosterone fit. How civilized. Are you always like this? Like what? Like... you. How would I know you? have known me as long as I have. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me. Hmm. This thing's a mess. Must have overloaded during the attack. Can't you tap into the connectors? No. The whole terminal's dead. There's no power. And let's keep looking. Right. I don't recognize this one. It's a double helix. It's the symbol of DNA. It's the fundamental building blocks of human life. What was that, déjà vu? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> this doesn't work. What, you're gonna attack it with your bare fists? No, I'm gonna act very civilized. I'm gonna say, oh, that's very frustrating, and then I'm gonna attack with my bare fists. <clears throat> okay, so I lied. <gasps> At ease, soldier. I am. Um... I think I remember the code. Hmm. Is it done? Thank you. An emergency terminal. Must be something else. Storage or something. You are not cleared for entry. <clears throat> Do you wish visual inspection? Yes. Please enter your passcode. Passcode? Um... What is behind? this window. I just can't remember what it is. Brent. Rev, it's Brent. I'm on zone two, deck five. I need help. Fast! intensification of neural activity. Vital functions erratic. She just passed out. What's wrong with her? I don't know yet. I'll have an analysis in a minute. I'm just checking for abnormalities, arterial blockages, aneurysms, anything. 
But you remember what to look for. Yes. That's unusual. Encephalographic contour consistent with spontaneous replicatory syndrome. Which is what in plain language? I think it's called, uh... Praxine? Praxine? What does it mean? It happens to people with memory implants. Gret's in a state of pre-existence or praxing, and she's reliving a memory that belongs to her original donor. One of her parents? No. People with mothers and fathers don't need memory implants. Are you saying Gret is a clone? Yes. It explains the amnesia. She was wakened from cryosleep before her memory implant was complete. We're all suffering from memory loss. Yeah, does that mean we're clones too? No, not possible. I'm with you. Lisa, are you sure? Oh, I don't like these vital signs. I'm gonna try to bring her out now. Lise, do something. I've got it under control. BP levels are coming down. It's Brent, talk to me. Pulse 110. Gret? Temperature coming down. Gret, okay. Yeah, I'm a little shaky. Not as if I was someplace else. It's called a prex. You were re-experiencing a memory. What did you see? Has she resumed full function? Jen, you need to be restored to full function. I can do that, Jen, if you'll allow me full access. I cannot comply. Dormancy routines are ready to activate. Enter your cryo capsules now. We're not going anywhere. If you do not enter your capsules in 26 minutes, I will replace you. Replace us? Zach, what is this? It's a bluff. No, it's not. If we refuse to take our little naps, this ship is equipped to create new versions of us. It's what? These cryo capsules are part of a cloning module. This ship grew us from genetic samples. Gret. Maybe you're a clone, but... No, Yuna, not maybe. I am a clone. And so are you, and so is Rev, and Lise, and Brent, and Zach. Gret, how do you know all this? I saw it in my prex. I was on Mars at the command center at Araxis, where this ship, Deepwater, was built. In its cargo bay is a bank of cloning capsules and genetic samples. It's enough material to populate a whole planet or repopulate one. This is the most recent vector analysis of the Pandora virus. Barring a miracle, the lunar colonies have less than six weeks. What about Earth? They stopped transmitting four hours ago. It might just be an equipment failure. No, I don't believe it either. Any luck with those genetic resistance studies? Not last I looked, but I've handed them off to Mitsuya. I'm full-time on the Deepwater Black Project now. Deepwater may be the only hope we have left. How soon can we get those gene banks to... Security. Proceed to level three. We have a quarantine breach. Security to level three. Security. Proceed to level three. We have a quarantine breach. Security to level three. We've already been exposed twice this week. Decontam's no help, anyway. Everyone, we've just received confirmation. Earth is... Orbital satellites are detecting no life signs. Vector control is diverting all relief ships to the Terran colonies. 